Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I had to come out to Carrollton, Texas to uh, do some work, uh, to check on some jobs we're doing at some townhouses uh, for roofing. So the great thing about this place is it is two, maybe three minutes from Corvette World. I actually have to pass Corvette World on the way there. So I went out, do what I had to do. Now we're gonna swing by Corvette World. We're gonna check out what kind of Corvettes they have available right now, but uh, that's why I love it. I love, I love when I have to come out to Carrollton because you know my favorite place in the world is two to three minutes away. So let's run in there and check it out right now. All right, so we're here at Corvette World and we're gonna start with my favorite car that's here today. Let's look at it right now. It is a 2021 with only 303 miles, 119,995. Now this one is a 3LT. It is convertible. It has tension blue interior. It is. It has the front end lift, the Z51, mag ride. It even has carbon fiber interior. So this thing is decked out. It has everything. And it is Arctic white. And it even has the accelerate yellow brake calipers. And this car is sweet. Right, sir? This car is sweet. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can even tell it's sweet with a mask on. He's got to wear it today, but uh, this thing is beautiful. I absolutely love this, and uh, man, I just can't say enough. I just am so impressed with the C7s or C8s that I cannot wait for the Z06. The Stingray has been much better than what I had thought before. You know, again, it took me a long time. It it, it grows on you. Yes, I tell you. It, it did. It, it definitely grows on you. Absolutely. You start seeing all the cool features. Is absolutely. Uh, you can do this while driving. Yeah, now, up well, to thirty miles an hour. Thirty. Yes. Yeah. Now people ask me, okay, I might as well get this out of the way of this video for those of you front seat driver video viewers. Okay, people are asking, how do they work on the motor? Okay, so well, if they need to do anything extensive, you know, the cradle is attachable; they can drop it. But if not, there's access points right there. They okay. stop it in this position. That you do, they have to, right here. do they have to pull all the bolts out of here to get if into they, it? If they need to. Otherwise, if they're just doing routine maintenance, like oil changes and stuff, they don't. Okay. So they, just, they just lift the flaps up. Over That's there. really interesting because I never even thought about that. Yeah. It didn't now, even occur Supposedly, what we were talking about earlier, GM is working on doing a transparent yes. piece of this. And I'm sure the aftermarket's already well underway to do that. Yes, something. ACS will have that, I hope, for my Z06, because I know I probably won't be able to get mine in time for that. But and again, you can stop it in process, you hit unlock again, you hold this button in the bottom corner, and you finish the process. See, I, that is so cool. And I love, again, the blacked out top. Yeah, these fold up. Yes. And a lot of people miss this. When this comes down, you'll see it closer. See how this is two tone? Yep. See right here? Yep. So you have the black Alcantara, then you have the twilight blue Alcantara exactly. to exactly. match the twilight blue seats along with the tension blue seats. Two-tone seats, looking good. And of course, carbon flash mirrors, which I love. But let's look at the inside because this interior is really nice. So look at all the carbon fiber on the inside of this. That is something that is big to me and absolutely plan when I get the Z06 to do the all carbon fiber interior because it looks so good. And I love carbon fiber. It's not my favorite thing ever, but as far as the inside of a car, I think it's it looks really good. It's just something I'm I'm really into. But man, this one is just to me again, nearly the perfect spec. If it had the high wing, then this would be to me the ideal C8 for the Stingray variant. But just a little little tidbit about these spoilers. Obviously, just FYI, we got a we got a high wing over there. Yeah. Those uh that one perspective on the highway. They all mount in the same. So we got four, four points of contact. Yes. Two in the middle, two off to the side. Well, same here. These mount yep. the same way. Just these are taller. But the downforce you get from both spoilers is identical. Is it how much? It's identical. Oh, it's identical. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they did it where it's more or less a cosmetic choice, but it's the same downforce. Okay. So you're not getting any additional downforce by switching from, no, a, from the downforce. spoiler to the high wing. Because the angle is such that it's, you're getting them through the same amount. Oh, actually, yeah. You can see that it is the exact same and angle. If you look, it's pretty straight. Yep. So it's, it's more cosmetic more. than anything. But I still really like this. At first, I was a big fan of the spoiler. Didn't like the high wing. But like everything, the more you see stuff... The more it grows on you, and now I like the high wing better. A cold start on a 2021 C8 Stingray. <laughs> that still sounds 
sounds pretty good, man. I can't even imagine what the Z06 is gonna sound like. This is a really, really, really good exhaust for a stock car, in my opinion. I think it sounds fantastic. So, even if you don't have the time or money to replace your exhaust on a C8, this, even if it's a Stingray model, man, it still sounds fantastic. Real quick, guys, this one's actually sold, and what's interesting is this is the Zeus Bronze. I hope you guys can hear me next to the freeway, but it has the body molding, uh, which is the same as the paint color. It's a paint match body molding, and it is the Zeus Bronze. And I'm gonna tell you, every time I've seen this pic uh, a picture of this, I've been like, yuck, that is one ugly color. Seeing it in person, I have to say, I am more than impressed with it. It doesn't look anything like I, you know, imagined it to look from the, uh, from the photos. And so you guys may look at this and be like, no, you're wrong, it's butt ugly. I don't think so. But again, I'm looking at it in person and it looks so much better in person. They did add the high wing to this, but man, this okay. car is super nice. You put out about this car. It said customer's car. He added the high wing. Yep. They originally had the body color spoiler. We powder coated powder the, wheels black. the wheels. That's another thing that makes a big difference to powder coating. I did that wheel in gloss black. Only carbon flash was right. the edge on that wheel. And he added the front splitter. This is the yeah. 5BM front splitter. He 5BM? Elected, he elected not to do the side skirts. Yeah. But he did the 5BM front the carbon flash. That makes a big difference too. The reason it's here today is because uh, he bought a tire and wheel from us. He took a nail on the sidewall oh, and wow. replaced the tire. Nice. So, nice. tire and wheel is a must. You know, and like I was saying before over there, from a distance, this looked like almost like army green. Yeah, because of the lighting. It's yeah, because of the lighting. Eyes. Yeah, it's crazy. It definitely can trick you. All right, let's do a quick rundown of everything else that's here right now. They got a 2022 with three miles on it for 105. I have to assume that this Arctic White is going to be a 1LT. All right, guys, now check out this 2021 Shadow Gray Stingray with 670 miles, 114.95, and it is a 2LT. And I believe, let's go look, I think this one is the convertible as well. Yes, it is. And it has the roof and the cells are carbon flash painted. And it does have carbon fiber on the interior. The GT2 bucket seats, dude, this thing is really nice. It reminds me a lot of the Corvette Grand Sport I had a few years ago. And I have a friend that has a 720, McLaren 720S. And for some reason, this car reminds me, and this color maybe because the same color as his, reminds me so much of that 720. Another, of course, as I said a couple of videos ago, this is the Rapid Blue, and obviously I know it's not, but it's torch red. But with the stripes on the hood, I really, really, really like that as well. 2021, 39, 47 on the miles and 96, 995. So we have to assume I didn't look at the build sheet, but I bet this is a one LT. But again, it is also convertible. Love the fact that you can roll down that back window, whether the top is down or not. But check out the interior on this red stitching on the steering wheel, not bad. And then rapid blue, the legit rapid blue. Take a look inside, the gray seats. Again, a convertible, love the convertibles. Now this is a non Z51 on both of these. As you can see, there's no spoiler. So they are the non Z51s, which is another reason why this one's a little less expensive but I definitely like the, the Rapid Blue. Another Torch Red, 2021, 945 miles, 994, 995. So let me ask you guys, are you stripe people or non-stripe people? So this is the Torch Red and it is a Z51, but it is no stripes on this. And then you have this one right here with the stripes. What do you guys think? Are you stripe people or non-stripe people? Some people can't stand anything extra on their car. Some people like them, I, of course. I'm a fan of stripes. The Elkhart Lake Blue. This one is not a convertible and it is a non-Z51. Pretty cool, there you go, so you can see your engine. Whereas with, of course, the convertibles you cannot, but it does have carbon fiber on the interior, which looks really good. This is still one of my favorite colors. Not a fan of the wheels, but I do like this car, this color. There is a Z06 getting ready to be sold my favorite color, shark gray. 
another torch red, red stitching on the black seats. And of course your wall of buttons, carbon fiber on the interior. Seems to be a common theme in here. This one is a 2020 with 1,045 miles for 104,995. And then basically what we have left is C7s. There's always seems like there's a yellow C7. This is a Stingray as opposed to the, normally I see the Z06 in here, but it's a 2016 with 86, 82 on the miles, 59,995. Let's see what the interior looks like. It is an auto, so if anybody's looking for a daily driver, interior's looking really clean though. Of course, like mine, it's got the yellow stitching. Very nice. But here is more of my favorite right here. This would be the Grand Sport. I definitely am a fan of Grand Sports. This one is a manual. So for those of you that are interested in a manual, there we go, another manual. So, I actually really like the Grand Sport wheels. The Z06 wheels I love as well. I think they look better in motion. The Z06, the, I'm sorry, the Grand Sport wheels I really like, they're easier to clean. Guys, it's a pain in the butt to clean these wheels. So this one I can't believe is still here. I cannot believe this car is still here. 2017, it is, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a 3LZ, I'll look in a minute. But 26,451 miles for 77,995. It's a Z07 package and it's still here. A Z07 package with only 26,000 miles for, for 78,000. Look guys, I don't make a nickel off of anything that sells here, so it doesn't matter to me, but I'm just, I, I'm in complete and utter amazement that this car is still here. So if you guys are interested in this, man, definitely give them a call. It is an auto, so if you're planning to track it or daily drive it, I guess, uh, I meant to say daily drive it, but it'll be a lot more convenient for you. Again, one of my favorite blues ever. The Laguna Blue Z06 Chrome Wheels 2016, 28,736 miles for basically 72. This is an auto as well. I've already looked. I think it was here a couple weeks ago when I was here. Look at that. Interior is super clean. But man, you just can't go wrong with this. I have a feeling. Actually, I take it back because this is the non, the non Z07 package. So never mind. We'll just forget what I was about to say and pretend like I didn't say anything. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it. But look at this, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double check my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, eight, I'm stupid. I knew there was an eighth somewhere. So they've got eight. And out of that, four of these are convertibles. So anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. I was so glad I was in the area, got to hang out with Richie over here. Oh, Richie who does a lot of the work here on the cars mentioned one thing that this car is missing. Blue seat belts. The blue seat belts on this car would have really set this thing off. So they failed in one spot. But other than that, this car is absolutely magnificent. That's gonna do it though for today's video. I wanna say thank you to everybody that watched. Man, if you like Corvette content, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video, hit like. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.